everyone, and welcome back to the channel where your likes, comments, and subs are always greatly appreciated. In this video featuring the Zoom R20 multi-track recorder, I wanted to cover two things. The first being a new firmware update that Zoom released in July of 2023. And the second thing I wanted to cover is a recording bug that is rare, but I've come across it a couple times and I wanted to let everybody be aware of what I've kind of encountered and maybe how you could potentially avoid that. So the first thing is that Zoom has released a new firmware update to version 3.1. Um, back in, I believe, September or October of 2022, they had released firmware 3.0. The biggest thing that happened there was that it allowed the R20 to use the Bluetooth adapter that you could buy so it can interact with an iOS iPad app. Um, that was the big change. And they really haven't done anything since. Uh, I'm a little bit surprised by that. So fast forward now all the way to July of 2023, and they released a firmware update to version 3.1. So it's not a big update by any means, even though they've gone about 10, almost 11 months um, without dropping any new firmware updates. So what is um, involved in that update? Well, not much there, and it's really not that much detail. They just say that if you're using um, the Zoom R20 to record at 24-bit depth, that you could damage your data. Um, I don't know what kind of bug that is exactly. I haven't really encountered that, but maybe others have run across something where they've been recording and then just randomly they had some of their data damaged on an SD card or on their USB flash stick. I'm not exactly sure. Um, I do in general, recommend that you record at 24-bit depth versus 16-bit depth, unless you have something very specific that you're recording 16-bit depth for. Say you're going to move those files immediately to burn a CD or something. Um, that's the only time that I could really envision using a 16-bit depth, whereas the 24-bit depth for recording, that really is focused on the amplitude or the volume, the dynamic range of the volume that you can have between your instruments. So you get much more dynamic range between the most quiet instruments in your mix versus the loudest instruments in your mix. With the 16-bit range, that is just more compressed and you don't have that much volume to play with from low to the high end. So I recommend that if you can, record at 24-bit depth, but I guess there was some kind of recording bug or some sort of bug where you're just using the 24-bit depth um, in your projects and the data can be damaged. That's what the 3.1 firmware update um, says. If you want to update uh, your R20 to a new firmware version, I did make a video about that. I'll link to it below. Um, and it's, it's a pretty simple, straightforward process. So you can go through that if you want to upgrade to the new version 3.1 firmware. Unfortunately, with the 3.1 update, we're not really getting any new features that I could tell. I've only been using it for a couple days now, but I'm not seeing any kind of like, you know, punch in, punch out. Um, that would be nice to sort of see. I'm not seeing any kind of changes to the synth track. Uh, unfortunately, you're just really not getting any options. It's just there to fix whatever that recording bug is. So the other thing that I wanted to touch on is a recording bug that I've come across. I've only encountered this maybe three or four times over the past year while using the R20. And sadly, every time I try to recreate the bug with the camera on while I'm recording, I, I really can't do it. But I can explain to you what I've seen so this way you could potentially um, avoid the bug that I've seen. So I just have my Roland S1 synthesizer over here. I'm gonna play a quick pattern I have tracks one and two that are armed for recording. So I'm, I have a stereo out for the S1. It's just gonna play a simple little uh, jingle here. It's the Metroid theme when you uh, grab a new item. But what happens is, is on the track view, you'll see um, tracks one and two actually building up the track as it's recording. When I've noticed for me with this bug is that if I hit the stop button when I'm done recording, and then I hit stop again right away to send the timeline marker all the way back to the beginning. Occasionally, again, this has been three or four times, it has completely wiped out my tracks one and two. So whatever I just recorded with this, it does not get locked into the SD card for some reason. And it's only when I hit the stop button to stop the recording and then again, stop to go all the way back. And it's usually because by and large, I'm like recording a guitar part 
Um, and I'm trying to put in this, this one little solo track or something like that. And I'm trying to do it over and over and over again. So I get annoyed with myself that I, you know, I keep messing up. And so I'm hitting the stop button. And I want to go back to the beginning right away. So I could hit the record button again and try again. That's when I've noticed that I've lost whatever I had just freshly recorded. So I'm just going to demonstrate what I'm doing here. I don't think it'll, it probably won't work, but this way you could just see how I hit the stop button to stop recording. And then also hit the stop button to send the um, timeline marker back. And that's when I'm encountering the bug. So if I arm myself for that and I hit play. Stop and then stop again. So you can see I hit the stop button a couple times really quick. And then it just sends that timeline marker back to the beginning. Here, it didn't happen. But when I've done that in the past, it's actually wiped out that freshly recorded track one and track two with the recording bug. So for me, what I usually do is make a mental note to not to do that. When I'm done recording something and I hit the stop button, I just wait an extra second or two before I hit it again to send me um, send my timeline marker back to the beginning. So that's what I've encountered. If you've encountered some other types of recording bugs, go ahead and leave a comment in this uh, video below and I'll see if I've, you know, uh, I can, I'll try to comment on that and see if I've encountered something similar or there might be somebody else who's an R20 user that might be able to comment on that. But that's all I really wanted to cover for this video today. Um, I hope you found the video helpful. And again, leave your likes and comments below. Always greatly appreciate it. All right, thanks everybody. Goodbye.